Do you know what I was thinking this morning? I just love a koala. <laughs> like, imagine just having, like, you'd never be sad. Like, I'd never be sad. Cunt. No, I'd just have him sitting here on a little pouch. Like, I'd be like a kangaroo and he'd be like a joey. And he'd just, like, sit here and he'd have his little hands around my neck and his little paws around my belly. And he'd bite and, your neck. No, and he'd just sit here and he'd just be like, hey, Kevin. Kevin. Hey, Kevin the koala. Koala, koala Kevin, I like. Yeah, <laughs> and I just think I'd never be sad. I just think it would make me so happy. Like, you you know that yesterday, we won't say what for what, but I was trolled and my face was on every single news paper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Daily Mail, Pedestrian, news.com.au. But if Kevin was with me. If you had Kevin. And also Saturday, I had to have a tough convo. Sorry, Co- Sunday. Correct. If Kevin was with me, it wouldn't matter. It would ease a lot of pressure. It would ease a lot of pressure. It would need to be a friendly koala. No, I'm pretty Ke- sure they're all feel friendly. Sorry. What are we, 30 seconds in and I've already stuttered? Fair, fair endily. Um, no, they're not. They're aggressive little pricks too. they also got chlamydia, so but you I could get bitten and then get the clap. Someone's told me that there's like three types of chlamydia, and I think the chlamydia that the koalas have is not like... It's koalamidia. That's what it's called, I think. Is it actually? Yeah, koalamidia. No, it's not. Yeah, it is, because it's chlamydia for koalas. So no, chlam- but that would be like calling it human chlamydia. You are chlamydia. Yeah, humility. Or people in India. Pe- people in India. Yeah, people in India. That's what it is called. So you've got koala media, people in India, and reptile media, which is chlamydia for reptiles. No. The, I that's, how no. They, that's how they differentiate them. There's no co- co- uh, chlamydia. Koala media. No, there's no reptile chlamydia. Yeah, reptile rept- rept- media. No, that, I'm, I'm smart today. Don't no. fuck with me. <laughs> Don't fuck with Kevin either. Lou's been through the ringer. You've had a weekend. <laughs> I've had a bloody weekend. You've been fucking torn to shreds by fucking pedestrian and fucking some other cunts. Yeah. You've had a... Tough combo. Tough combo. Yeah, we don't have to talk about that. It's not. Let's so, that one. yeah, Kevin would probably leave some Kevin of that Kevin would help. If the Taronga Zoo's listening, even if I could just come stay the night with Kevin. I reckon I've seen one wild koala in my life. Well, I went to um, the... Some wildlife in Gold Coast when I was like eight, mm. and I got a photo with the koala, and I'm like forty times bigger than it, and it's like latched yeah. onto me, and I'm I'm so excited that my cheeks are like bright red, and I'm wearing like a Roxy trucker cap, like Roxy jumper, like Roxy three quarter board shorts, and I'm just like with this Kevin koala. You, you like it actually is it? I know it shouldn't because. I rip you so much on like how you were as a kid and stuff, mm. but the, every time you explain a new scenario to me, I'm just like, it's more and more astounding every time. It just you do a, you do a good job of painting a picture. Yeah, I can see you as a fat little fuck with you, and and, <laughs> and all Roxy. I, dad, I made Dad go on the roller coaster with me. I think we might have been at Dreamworld, and um, was he in the car behind you? You'd obviously take up the. He was in the One cart cup. with me. Oh, was he? And I'd be like, he'd be like, all right, last time, Lou, we'd gone on like three times. I'd be like, One more time. <laughs> Frank, I'd be like, Oh my God, like how are you not sick of this yet? I I was the same. I loved roller coasters. I, I used to fucking like we'd go to Sea World or Dream World or fucking movie world, wet and wild, and it was just like there was no stopping me. Mm. I remember I just used to get, I'd get my mum, could I get an ice cream? She'd like, yeah. And so I'd get an ice cream and then I'd turn around for like 30 seconds and just paint my face with the ice cream and then just turn back around and be like, my ice cream's all gone. And she's like, fuck me. Such a joker, such yeah. a young age. Did you ever go on the um, giant drop? Yeah. I never did. I was, too, I was too much of a pussy for that. Really? Yeah, that, the thought of like just lurking up the top and having no say and just waiting for them to drop you. Like that feeling in your tummy when yeah, it drops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, well, your tummy goes, me. your guts just go. It's sh- like <laughs> if you're driving out, at, I assume in the outback, this would happen a lot, Jack, <laughs> um, from my times out there. And you're driving along like a straight road or like a country road and then sort of like there's a dip. And you know you go and you go back up and it's like whoa yeah 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 that, that's like a homemade roller coaster it kind of is yeah but we used to there were places on the property where there were that were those dips and um we'd make mum and dad speed up for them when we were like going home it's like as a, kids it's one of those feelings where it's like a love to hate mm. you know what I mean yeah well it's just like yeah you stu- you you lose your stomach it's, it's people. It's because, like, I don't know what the fucking science is behind it, but, like, people shouldn't have ever felt that speed, I think. But it's, like, almost like that 
the feeling is almost like that pit of anxiety you kind of feel. You know when your stomach like drops? Yeah. It, it, oh, yeah, yeah. it kind of is. Isn't that weird how we sort of like loved it as a kid, but now we'd probably be like, oh, I know this feeling. <laughs> How yeah. about no? Yeah. Let's fucking not go over that bump again, Dad. That's weird, isn't it? Mm. I haven't had that feeling for a long time. That pet of anxiety? Yeah, well, just like, or the feeling of the drugs. I haven't been to, like, fucking any of those fancy worlds for a, for a long time. Once we had Wet and Wild and we, we essentially had the whole park to ourselves. I, I was never a water girl because obviously I had to wear a nose plug and goggles. No, we did we did discuss this. You yeah. breaking the speed of sound on water slides. You're like, yeah. no, she'll go too fast, mate. There's too much fucking she's, mass. Sorry, mass there's and a, velocity. There's, there's a max weight. She won't. She's not, not allowed on here. Thanks. <laughs> like just fucking <laughs> fly over the pool into the highway. Um, <laughs> not a scratch on you though. Fuck, I reckon you would have been durable back then. Just would have rolled back. Just like back. a bouncy ball, yeah. Yeah. straight back yeah, into correct. the straight back into the um, slide. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm back. Or you pretended to cry, so your dad'd buy you sixteen ice creams. <laughs> but yeah, back to Kevin. I feel like that'd be great for those sort of situations. Yeah, maybe. No, there's not a business in it because actually, I do <laughs> remember. One time, I asked if a koala could come to the radio station for my birthday. And I don't think you can actually hold them anymore. I think it's like illegal. Why? I don't know. What? Like you, they're just real like sensitive. You can't hold them. Well, they're anymore. little mongrels. Fucking a lot of them. Nah, not Kevin. Kevin wouldn't be, but Kevin fuck. wouldn't be. Honestly, Kevin would be little as well. Like he'd be he'd be fully grown k- k- koala. Yeah, but he'd just be little, and he'd just sit perfectly on my tummy here, and and you would be in the middle of the podcast. Be like, shh, Kev. 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 Do you know what I tr- what I truly love? What? Echidnas. Are those the spiky ones like a hedgehog? Yes. Also, it's just great to hear you say the word hedgehog. Hedgehog. Do um, you have hedgehogs in Australia? No. Nah. Do you not? No, no, no. Are they just a kiwi thing? No, nah, they're not just a kiwi thing, but we don't have them in Australia. We've got the tougher version, the echidna. But a hedgehog you'd find like in a, you'd find them in in a, sub, in a small them. suburb. Like you'd find it in like a cul-de-sac. Not, not. You not, don't have hedgehogs? No, no, no. We don't. I remember I once named one. A hedgehog. Hairy. I found it. Hairy? I found it. It was dead in the garden. D- oh! Didgehog. Have I told you about Herbert? <laughs> no. Mate. Mate. Herbert. So one time, this is recent, I woke up and walked out into the lounge and just screamed because there was a dead mouse right by the front door. Just <laughs> dead. And so I named him Herbert. <laughs> Jesus and I, I was too scared to, to get rid of him, so I waited for my ex-boyfriend to come over that night, but I made him a little, like, sign that said, like, rest in peace, Herbert. You just realised you just realized that you what wrote I've how fucked this is. I made him a little sign that said, rest in peace, Herbert, and, like, almost like a little, like, coffin kind of area. You're a freak. You're a fucking weirdo, mate. <laughs> Jesus. Why? Oh, you scat Like, cunt. they felt sorry for him. He was but dead. Fucking mice. We just went through a mice play. They he decimated was, I don't like rodents, but he was, he was, Herbert was cute. He, a, a dead mo- a dead mouse on your doorstep I, was cute. I, I, so he had a little sign. You're starting to worry me, buddy. I'm starting to, <laughs> you're starting to fucking worry me a bit. He had a sign that said, rest in peace, Herbert. Because of you. He didn't have it. You created it. <laughs> Stop like but wait, let me my reasoning behind it. So originally, I was just going to put a piece of paper over him because I was like, I don't want to see him until my ex comes over to move him. But then I was like, well, this is sad. Like he's someone's son, or he's a <laughs> he's a mum or a dad, <laughs> you know. So I named him Herbert, and then I wrote a sign: "Rest in peace, Herbert." How did you know it was a male? You check out a mouse cock, did you? No, I, no, <laughs> no. I just I just for some reason always assumed. Oh, so that you assumed Herbert's gender. <laughs> You pig. It's 20 fucking 22. And you're just out here assuming. I just wanted gender. to name him Herbert. It could have been a female or a male. <laughs> uh, there's no yeah. alliteration to Herbert either. You could have named him like Mickey, you know, Mickey the mouse. No, or, I just looked at him and knew. Knew it was Herbert. I'm actually insane. You, yeah. Also, as soon why as don't I you said, just pick, pick I, him up and I put wrote him in the Herbert as such. You just looked at me. I just went, oh shit. Yeah. What have I said out yeah, loud? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You realise, I saw your brain tick over and realise. Uh-oh. What you done? <laughs> Bad. 
Naughty Lulu. <laughs> no more signs for dead animals. No. If it was a rat, though, I would have called. Oh, and now actually, there's something wrong with my f- apartment. And One Brian. time I saw a giant, like huge. I thought it was a tarantula, but it was a huntsman. And it was, it was <laughs> fucked up big. Don't and you I have went those in New Zealand. No, I went full like Steve Irwin, Bear Grylls. Like I was, you should have seen me. I had like a magazine, and I like went poof and like whacked him and then he disappeared and I couldn't find him and I was like oh no and you know and you can like feel him on you and I was like where is he like I could not find him I think I called him Steven and and I could not find Steven and then I like looked under the fridge and Steven was there hey dead do you know what I love what you said you've gone full Steve Irwin and Bear Grylls so (laughs) that is so disrespectful because what? I know that Bear Grylls and Steve Irwin wouldn't have whacked them and then got instantly scared oh, yeah. and thought, where is the... And then it felt like they were on me. You, can you imagine Steve Irwin Steve missing Irwin his Steve Irwin would have catched him in or a, caught, yeah, in a glass. Him. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry. Probably caught. caught him, yeah, instead of catched him. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I am so unwell. Like, there's a reason I'm single. <laughs> It's this podcast. Uh, there's a multitude of reasons. It's this podcast. And it's just your ge- and, and your general personality. It's me. I write, you know, death signs for Herbert. Yeah, I put okay. it in the local newspaper. Like, but yeah. R.I.P. Herbert. He was a great housemate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you pro- uh, project it to the world. That's maybe the issue. I sent a photo of it to my housemate. She was like, move it. I was like, nah, I'll just wait. So you just, yeah, okay. Well, I thought about putting him in like a shovel and brush. Um, yeah, and they're putting it in your bin. Or just throw it away. I, I didn't want to touch him. It scared me. Imagine yeah. if he wasn't dead and then I, like, touched him. And he went, yeah, you're not Steve Owen or Bear Grylls. Close. You're, I've you're, had two two situations with deadly animals. I've been bitten by a redback. Yeah, but that's an ant. <laughs> that is not an Get ant. over it. <laughs> that's Australia's one of the most deadly spiders. Oh. You fucking idiot. That's not an ant. <laughs> Yeah, but that's an ant. It's as fucking, it's one of the, well, it's renowned as one of the most deadly spiders in the world. I thought that was the white tail. Yeah, fuck me. A tarantula's dangerous? Oh, fuck. Uh, Actually, don't, stop. I know that. They're not. They just look terrifying. They do. Like me. (laughs) You've got to go, buddy. I reckon we'll knock the, I reckon we've been going for how long, Tobs? Ten minutes? I reckon that's us today. I've had three sips of a coffee. And I've lost it. You've lost the plot. Absolutely lost it. Yeah, no. I, it. I was bitten by a fucking red, but I didn't realise. So we were oh. at home at Christmas and I was, we were sitting out the back and I was just yarning to everyone and having a couple of beers and my legs started to burn and ache. And I'm like, this is fucking weird. And so I went, um, I just went to lay down in my bedroom and just played on my phone and then it sort of went away. And I walked out mum goes, where the fuck have you been? I said, it was so weird. I was just sitting out there and my legs started to like burn and like ache and stuff. And she goes... Well, Dale, do you think maybe you've been bitten by a spider? And I go, oh, yeah, 100%. And um, I took an antihistamine and then fucking we flipped over the seat and there was a nest of redback under the oh seat. Oh, my God. And so and so I was like, fuck it, we'll just leave it. And if I start feeling really crook, you know, we'll go to the hospital or whatever. But I never really did. Anyway, I read this fucking story about... Uh, you know, a week later, which was odd timing, that this bird got bitten by a redback on her leg, did the same, left it. She fucking was at home one day and just dropped, fainted. Did. No, no, fainted and fucked. She woke up in hospital with her leg amputated. <gasps> She'd been bitten and seemingly no n- no bloody symptoms or whatever, but her leg was rotting from the inside. <laughs> How fucked? So that wigged me out. Being like my leg could be just rot, rotting from the fucking inside. Australia is dangerous. There's a lot of bad shit here, yeah. It's like you hear those stories when there'll be a um, crocodile in someone's swimming pool in Queensland. My mate Bazza, his auntie just got bitten by a croc on the leg <gasps> on the weekend. No, Actually, no. yeah, he texted me. His auntie no. got, yeah, apparently she got out of it and, and survived. But like literally two days ago she was bitten by, she was taken, um, Nearly taken by a croc. Got well, it on the leg. It's up near... 14, um, 14 footer. Oh, my. You walls it. Yeah. Was she swimming in the river? They're in the fucking territory somewhere or some. I don't Townsville. know. I don't know. Um, no, oh. no, not in Townsville, but yeah. 
there's a lot of shit here that can fuck you up. Yeah. You know? Yeah, Herbert and Stephen. Add them to the list. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, like, i got mates whose aunties are getting taken by crocs and you're here comparing yourself to Steve Irwin because you tried to slap a fucking huntsman with a magazine it's with with the new episode, that thing of Vogue. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to know about the wedding. I'd like to know about... The big old Tasmanian wedding. Yeah, so you might hear it in my in my voice and just my general demeanour this morning and my lack of um what's the word? Like I can't even think of it. Um I had Eddie Simpson's wedding of Hello Sport fame mm-hmm. on the weekend. I was emceeing it. Yeah, how <coughs> the bloody speech go. So it, first thanks to Eddie and Ella and the Dumbrells and the Simpsons, it was a fucking perler. Ella looked stunning. Yeah, mate. She was fucking hotter than you a two dollar pistol. You too, Eddie. And Steph, Ned looked good too. Steph also looked phenomenal. Mate, when Steph green. walked down like the aisle, because my miso was the fucking maid of honour. You're like, damn, that's my girl. Oh uh, yeah, I was like, hot dang. I'm hot like, dang, that's my girl. She does have notoriously bad eyes. And it made sense in that moment why she was with me that she, I probably just look blurry. She just probably thinks I sound cool because she's way fucking hotter than me. Um, anyway, fucking, I, 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 I like to start my, my traditionally, I've been a best man before, mm-hmm. MC a couple was of times. It, also, I was going to say, is that your first time? But and um, I like to start it with a bit of spice. Mm-hmm. So run me through what you think of this joke. Because Eddie's last name is Simpson. Yeah. So I was like, you know, welcome to the wedding of Eddie and Ella Simpson. I'm like, wow, Ella Simpson, that's new. I'm like, don't worry, Ella. Traditionally, marriages to Simpson uh, men work out tremendously. Just look at OJ's wife. And I was like, yeah, I've kicked it off with a murder joke. You're damn right. I've kicked it off with a brutal murder joke. Did you get cackles? Shit landed. Yeah, and I got, it landed okay, well. We've got a good crowd. Yeah, because okay. I was about to say that's a that's a risky one it, it, to it, start a wedding with. Yeah, I, I was like, fuck, because I I our kind of extended friend group though I would probably cackle at that. Yeah, it was okay. Some people inappropriate, others play on. It is what it is. I mean, that's comedy though. Some people are going to be offended. Some are going to bloody love it. That's it's purely subjective. No, it seemed to work pretty well. And then I got, um, so Archie, our mate, who is one half of the Batuta Advocate, he was there and he's a big, he's a, he, there's a lot of energy with Archie and mm. he's, you know, quite a presence. He's very funny. He's got a deep booming voice, you know, talks like bloody yeah. big Arch. And I knew he was going to, I knew he was going to fucking have a go. Heckle. Mm. So I prepped. I did a little prep. I was like, just prep for something if Archie heckles. And he heckled almost straight away. And I said, oi. I said, mate, sorry, for those of you that don't know who just heckled, that's the um, that's one half of the Batuta advocate, Archie. And I said, how's this for a story, Archie? Local fuckwit tries to make wedding about him <clears throat> oh, by heckling. Bloody and good the, judge. And, and, but it, it fit... <laughs> Everyone fucking pissed themselves because it looked like it was just an off the cuff heckle. Yeah. But I was like, "Can't I prep that? Yeah. I knew you were going to do it. You knew he was coming for I you. I knew, and I like so I hit him with it. Bedwetters, bed mate. For life. That's bloody funny. <laughs> so I got it. I was just like, you know, so he was, comes up with all the articles. A lot of yeah. Well, he started it yeah. with our other friend Charlie. They, they love that page. Yeah, they're it's fucking so really funny, hot. funny, funny boys. But he was, um, yeah, he was like, yeah, it seemed like a. A lot of people laughed a little too hard at that. <laughs> like that, it was like, like there was some vendetta against me. Yeah. But it was a phenomenal, a phenomenal wedding. It was just a big. It was like you know four days of getting like what proper was, fucked up. Yeah. What was the latest finish time? You know, I don't even know. But I essentially just shut my brain off every single night down in Tasmania with whiskey. Yeah. Every night. And that's why I probably had such a bad sleep. I didn't have my night night juice yeah. to put me to sleep. You're so used to having a whiskey. <laughs> Correct. To or go to th- bed. So a bottle and a half. But like <coughs> loose, it was, loose unit. I'm a mad cunt. Drinks a bottle and a half. I'm a mad cunt. Sink piss. But it was down in Tasmania. Bit of a stigma to Tasmania. Mm. Let me give you the hot tip. One of the most beautiful, the, the most beautiful fu- places in the world. Is it cold? It, it does get cold down there. We were super lucky with the weather. It was fucking blue. 
Um, it looked amazing. They'd had a heap of rain, so everything was really green, and the sun was starting to dry it out when we got there. So it was like, it was picturesque. Perfect. Picture perfect. So it was a really good wedding. Thank you to the, the mob. Um, I'm just such a dusty little bitch. Yeah. And now I've got my other mate Jimmy's wedding this Friday. And then what, what's on the weekend after? Hopefully two-fifths of fuck all. Hey. What? Who's Don't tell Whose birthday's on the Sunday? The oh, big no. dog LDD. Oh, no. The big dog LDD, November 20th. Lou, don't do you that. You know what that means? Don't do that. Sunday sesh. I can't. Beep, beep. Lou, Lou, don't. Toot, toot. I can't. I can't. You know what's happening on that Sunday. Oh, fuck. Whiskey. <laughs> tequila soda. <laughs> I don't want to. Mate, you, you'll Lou. have Saturday off and you'll be stinging for a beverageino. Fuck, Lou. Yeah. 29. Shit. Old. You look older. <laughs> Don't. So I'll have a mental breakdown. I'll have, so another, no, no, I'll have another mini B. You look younger. You got good skin. I know. I actually do look younger. You're fucking arrogant. I'm really good at it. I'm really good at <laughs> yeah, looking I'm really young. good at looking younger. Um, yeah. But yeah, what a, what, a, what a rip snorter. Far out. It was a... How, it, how did Ollie Arch go? He can... Big Ollie was good. He, yeah. He's a staple. He's like a 5 a.m. at five nights in a row in a double He's a sick him. fuck, yeah. He can really, he can, re- but he can pull it off. Oh, I have one night, well, I've gone out, sorry, I've had a couple of like massive weekends with him and then we'll go to the Rojo on a Sunday night and he'll look like fresh as a daisy, like well, stunning. It, it does help when you've got the jawline of a Greek god and you're six foot five and yeah. very traditionally handsome. Even if you've got mm. some bags under your eyes, people tend to overlook it. When you look like me, when you look like no somewhat chance. of a drowned uh, amphibious um, marsupial hybrid. Axolotl. Yeah, like an axolotl but with like a bit of rat in it. Mm. People tend to think you look a lot worse. When you look like Ollie, you get away with it. Hey, I'll give you a compliment. For a bloody four-day bender, you don't look too bad, mate. Is that right? Yeah. That's good to know because I feel bad. Yeah, you can feel it. And <laughs> your body's rotting. <laughs> a lot of lung busters. Your insides are absolutely Yeah, it's like rotting. I've been bitten by a, by a redback and my entire insides is mm. uh, is rotting or are rotting. But, hey, what can I say, man? Just another four-day benefit for Big Josh. Yeah, the, the, the big, big man dog. Big man money. He knows what to do, man. <laughs> yeah, you say four-day bender, what's associated with that? Josh. Big J money, they call big me. Big J money, and they call me the big, the big L pain. El Payne. Yeah. You. Yeah. <laughs> the big El Payne. Big El Payne. I'm in some El Payne. Yeah. That's all right, mate. Just get to Friday and then you'll do it all over again. I know. I don't know how. Yeah. <laughs> Red light, green light. Ready to rock? Red light, green light. Uh-huh. Peeing in the sea. Green. Green what? is green. I'd shit in the ocean. I suppose. I've done aqua, aqua turds. Yeah. I've dropped aquas. No, you haven't. Well, ask me again. You? Ask me if I've dropped an aqua. Have you dropped? Yes. <laughs> Mostly it, in river systems, though, to be fair. Does it float? I think you'll find, depending on your level of hydration, your, your poo will float or sink. I'm, I'm sure if it's a just a solid, nut, like a healthy poo, but if you've got like a... A runny poo? Yeah, it wouldn't be good. It would be going all over you. You'd well, we used to, to do like cadets around. and pioneers and shit, and so we'd have to do this thing where we were out in the bush for a week, and so we'd fucking... Oh, it actually leads to a pretty good yarn. What did you do? So we're out in the bush for a week. We've got to get from one point to the other. This is like orienteering. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Anyway, so we're in, in these different mobs, and you're not supposed to link up with the other other mobs or blokes you're all supposed to do it individually you know Mm -hmm. what i mean anyway we change the channels and we're like get onto our mates grobo pitto and these bunch of fucking wild on the walkie talkies yep yeah and they're like we're at this location whatever i think they'd snuck grog in and stuff or we all fucking snuck grog in anyway we'd been in the bush for about two days (laughs) these blokes had gone full lord of the flies i walk up to their camp they've got a pig's head on a pike in the ground at the front of their camp and I walk up and I can just hear and they're all just running around naked right in this camp pig's blood on their faces they found like a 
a sow and some suckers, wild pigs, which people hunt, killed them, put their heads on spikes. How'd they kill them? Knives. So, so they caught them? Yeah. So they were that, that fast? Yeah. But it was like, we walk in, I walk in and I go, what the fuck have like I walked Like they'd gone into? insane almost. Yeah, two days. How old were you? I, 17, 18. Did you do it just for fun? Well, they, they, yeah, they did. They went mad. And then we Two lo- days will do that to you. It sounds, it sounds like those people get lost in the bush mm. for two days. Well, it was like we just got pissed and then like we lied about the levels of the river saying that they'd riven so we could get Kazavak because I reckon like if we'd stayed there another day with those mongrels, so you were, our heads would have been on spikes. Seriously. <laughs> it was fucking wild. So, yeah, green light to, um, to pissing in the ocean. <laughs> what about you? Green light to not, – not number no, but, twos but in what, the ocean. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, it is what it is. It's also, a lot of the beaches around the eastern suburbs, you know, if you're going to like Lady Martins or something, there's nowhere to go. There's no bathroom. Yeah. So where else are you meant to go, PP? Well, that's – didn't – someone told me she always sees you down there like in the corner in the sand just doing it. And they said, that fucking Kiwi bird just doesn't <laughs> – Just doing a poop and then cover, like a dog covering <laughs> it up. <laughs> yeah, you kick it. You kick back with your legs like the sand. And you're like, hey, guys. <laughs> um, yeah, that's green for me. Yeah, green. But it but doesn't pee attract sharks? Blood does. Oh. Don't know if urine does. It's good. <laughs> yeah, otherwise you'd have sharks fucking circling you the whole time. Seriously. I can imagine yeah. <laughs> well, you're gonna say something like I had strong urine. Or yeah, something. yeah. <laughs> like, come on, mate. You'd have you'd have pungent piss. Yuck. Well, you brought it up. Mo- Molly sent in a good one, this bird Molly. Okay. Red light red light, green light. Men texting, yay. (laughs) 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 It It was a red for Molly. It was so, it's so small. I know. So mean, Uh, but I have to say red. I know. Like if I said, cool, see you there in 10 minutes, and they said, yay. (laughs) Like, she's a genius. Why is it? I, I say yay all the time though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if, if, if you said to me, cool, like picking you up for the potty in 10, I go yay. Yeah. G- green. Yeah. But for some reason, if if I said, see you in 10, you said yay. There you go. Okay. You'd have to like jump in the car and go, just be like, hey, Judge, just before we drive off. Um, what was that? Yeah. Run me through that yeah. Run me through that yeah. What was, what was, what was your, your pattern? Let's not, let's not do that again. Let's just <laughs> cut that one from the vocab. <laughs> So if you bloke and you're texting yay, don't be doing that. I wouldn't. I wouldn't because <laughs> I think you'd be it, getting red flagged straight away, which is wild. I know, but it's true. Like, do you know? I saw a TikTok the other day, and it was a girl saying like her biggest ick was like if a guy. <laughs> this is so fucked. If a guy had like a car crash, and he <laughs> no wait, and he like was crawling around on the ground after it. Oh my. And I was like, how the fuck has the ick gone this far? Holy fuck. Yeah. So don't have a car crash. (laughs) Well, it's like this. uh, Like, I love the ick, but good God, it's gone a bit far for some things. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like that. If you can't be having a car crash and being a little bit rattled after a car crash. You're like, sorry. What what are we made of, fucking stone? Sorry, I couldn't make dinner. I had a car crash and the girl going, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God, guys, he had a car crash. Like, what the fuck? On the eggs. My brother texted me the other day and he's like, um, ask Lou about like self X because he was like, he said he was getting changed and he was putting his undies on and he like tripped over himself and then had it, it's like I had to have a, Good hard look at myself because he's like, that was fucked. Yeah. He gave himself the ick. Well, I would probably say me writing her better rest in peace sign yeah, was. Yeah, that's very icky. Perhaps a self ick. <laughs> um, Hot will. Icked. Okay. Red light, green light, mm. raspberries on someone's tummy. What? You know, when you go. Oh, I thought you meant the fruit. <laughs> Eating like, raspberries? Yeah, I was just like, Who, when have you done that? You know, when you go... Yeah. I, I mean, when... Like, who... What... 
Give me a fucking scenario. Green. <laughs> Green as fuck. What do you mean? What, what, but in what situation? Is this foreplay for you? No, but my ex-boyfriend would just every now and then I had, <laughs> I had these raspberry pajamas. What are you two? Well, I wore these little raspberry pajamas. Yeah, so you two. And then one time, <laughs> it was it was a one-off. He just went <laughs> and raspberry my tummy, and it was like the funniest moment of my life. <laughs> so now I'm like green light to it. You've just given me the ick. <laughs> Fucking raspberry pajamas, getting raspberried as an adult. Can you imagine what I'm ma- imagining right now? It's very icky, buddy. <laughs> don't want this on the podcast. <laughs> it, Judge. it is what it is, Dal. I don't want it. I don't want it here. If this is fucking edited out, I'll be real, real upset with you. Fine. But like, do you? Do you? It's like when you do weird things behind closed doors when you're in a couple. Like it was funny in the moment. Like, yeah, like BDSM. What's that? What? Nothing. <laughs> yeah, continue. What? Nothing. What? I'm Googling. <laughs> I'm doing a live Google. BDSM. BDSM. Do I got images? Yeah, do whatever you want. Oh, so whips and yeah. chains. Yeah. Whips and chains, chains. excite me. Is that Rihanna song? That's what BDSM is. Yeah, I'd say the raspberry's similar. Some of the <laughs> nah, this we, we ex- it was a one. It was like a funny situation, you know. Like I was in my raspberry pajamas. They're cute little, like yeah, keep defending. They're like flirty PJs. Yeah, of it's course they like sound like it. Are they short shorts? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> it's not like. And is it a button up top? That's <laughs> flirty. It's not like I'm wearing my, you know, like flannelette f- p- polar bear pajamas. <laughs> like it was summer. It wasn't winter. You just reek of sex appeal. No, I do have cute, like, flirty, sludgy yeah, PJs. Yeah, sounds like I've it. got these little, like, tiny little lace black ones with, like, a little lacy top. They only come out on special occasions. <laughs> 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 like, if a guy's just coming over to stay, I'll go, oh, I've, I'm already in my PJs, all good. <laughs> not my raspberries, not my yeah. not my floor-length flannelette polar bears at that stage. Yeah, with, like, a sippy cup and your 14 teddies under your arm. Being like, mm. No, no, no. <clears throat> three. Three, three, three titties. titties, sorry. I'm going to get rid of one of them. Oh, uh, yeah. You're going to say goodbye to it? Like physically? I'm going to put like it. Like you did this morning when you texted me saying goodbye to your titties? <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Do you Bye-bye, know with Bonnie. BDSM, mm. I was doing this um, interview for my friends who run their own business, right? And they basically go around to schools teaching kids Ste- how teaching to get into BDSM. the workforce. <laughs> so, No. So how to, so they go to this school like these huge assemblies and they play they, they I filmed this stuff with them basically talking about going from school into the workforce like an into life and how to transition easily into that life you know yeah. what I mean and so the, my mate interviewing me she's like um, yeah so judge so you know some interests that you could have uh, from school you know like sport you could do something into sport and she starts listing all this stuff and I was like yeah BDSM. Um, and she's like, yeah, exactly. And she didn't know what BDSM was, right? So I, I'd said it as a joke. She's going around Australia to all these schools playing this stuff and then starts getting messages being like, hey, r- really sorry, but does the guy in the video that you're showing to kids say BDSM as an interest? And she's like, what's BDSM? And I did. And she had looked it up and was like, holy Why? fuck. Why would you not say to her, hey, maybe cut that bit out? I didn't even, I just, because we were filming for so long that there was a heap to cut out. And oh. I was like, you know, we'd filming for like an hour. And she, so there just, was, she was just editing, she didn't know what it was. And I said it so genuinely like, you know, like, yeah, BDSM, you know. <laughs> she, she would have just thought it was some type of like term for correct. sales or something. Yeah, correct. Ah. So that was awkward. The red light, green light, BDSM? <laughs> green Ah, oh, fuck, I can't remember who sent this one in, but it's a perler. His miso does it. <clears throat> Red light, green light. Get, getting a burger at the pub, disassembling it, and then eating it, eating the individual items. <laughs> Red? Red? His miso does it. Sorry for what, not so writing So she'll eat, out. like, the bun and then the patty. She'll get it, yep. And, and then, then the she'll cheese. Disassemble. And then the gherkin. Yeah. And then the tomato. That's... And then the li- 
Mate, just pick it up with your fingers and... Well, it's just the oddest way to approach anything. Like, like I get it if you want to, like, pull maybe, like, the tomatoes out, like the gherkin Whatever. Out. But, like... Disassembling it, having individual items, then eating them individually, that's, like, that's very Jeffrey Dahmer-esque. Yes. Well, and saying that, though, I will go to the... If I go to a cafe and order breakfast, I often like to make my own breakfast. And so I'll go, can I get tomatoes, mushrooms, bread, avocado, halloumi, bacon? And it'll all come out like separately on like one big plate. Did you just tell me that you go to cafes and order meals occasionally? <laughs> like every other fucking human. <laughs> when <laughs> I was saying that in my head, I was like... <laughs> you, just, um, you just ordered a meal that like, you wanted to eat. Yeah, like you just picked some food that you want on the same plate. It's not Louisa. special. That's truly what everyone... Like, That's why they've nice. got like the sourdough and yep. eggs and okay. then all the other extra stuff you can do. Mm-hmm. You've just explained yep. to us that you sometimes go yep. to cafes and you order what you <laughs> want. Sometimes I will order food. It's, <laughs> wow. it's a bizarre it's a bizarre trait, but what an in- I will sometimes do it. What an incredibly interesting anecdote. Yeah, so red light, gr- green light <laughs> to ordering food. <laughs> yeah, anyway, to whoever, who, whoever sent that in, that's a ripper, but disassembling your burger is some serial killer shit. Just take raspberries on tummy off the list (coughs) next week. (laughs) Red light, green light, saying your kid is 24 months old when they're two. Red. Red. Yeah. Like, they're two. (laughs) Yeah. Shut up. Yeah. Oh, they're they're 24 months old. Yeah, what's No, they're two. Yeah. Why do that? Why, why do is people that? do that? Someone was Refer to them in months. I get it up until a year. Oh, they're six months or whatever. Yeah. Oh, they're a, year, they're a year. They're a year and a half. But a lot of people months. go, oh, they're 18 months. Oh, they're 24 months. 24. 18 seems more normal than 24, like though. Like, they're for two some years reason, old. My brain. They are two years old. Yeah. Stop it. Yeah, they're two. Do you, this is pretty rogue, but do you think, you know how there are some babies that come out and they're not super cute? Me. Were you not that cute? I looked like a fucking alien. Oh, I was cute, obviously. <laughs> I was really good at being cute. <laughs> Shock horror. Um, but I think as a parent, you look at the baby and you generally are like... Ge- genuinely, genuinely. Yeah, genuinely. That old chestnut. Fuck. Um, you look at it and you think you are the cutest thing in the world, but other people don't think it's that cute. I'll tell you why. It's because you've been through the ringer. So you've got you, the miso has had the kid for fucking nine months. She's been through it all. Finally, it culminates into this Paternal thing. instinct. So like... Aesthetically, you're just seeing this beautiful thing you've created. We all were. But mum seems to think, she was like, no, you were gorgeous. I'm yeah. like, ma, you know. That's that, the thing. You know, we weren't. You probably weren't, but No, I trust me, Judge. I was really cute until like seven. Mate, babies look like trust babies me, look like tiny middle-aged people. I was cute until I was like seven. And then I don't know what happened. And I I'll just I'll tell like, you what happened. Overconsumption. That's what happened. And then it was like eight to fourteen. I was just a big unit. And then 14, what, what's happened after that? You think you got good looking? Yeah. You didn't. Wrecked. 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 You well, didn't. You've never been good looking, so. Wrecked. Yeah, Double that, wrecking. that is a better wrecking, yeah. Double wrecking. Decking. Decked. <laughs> Double wrecked. <laughs> Decked. <laughs> Do you remember when you deck people at school? Yeah, you just run up behind them and knock pull them out. Their, no, pull what? their pants down. Oh, duck. Oh. D- dick. So will you is dick it, them? Uh, but are you pronouncing duck as in, is that how you pronounce duck? D- you know, when you, di- you dick them. Yeah, but, wh- but what I'm saying, are you saying the word, de- oh, fuck me, this is confusing sometimes with us. Are you saying the word deck, D-E-C-K or D-A-C-K? It's dacking them. You're dacking oh, them. Oh, deck them. Oh, there we go. Sorry, yeah. Not deck them. Oh, sorry. Decking them implies Dick's you knock someone gone. out. Poof. Yeah, you decked someone. Yeah, no, I haven't done that. I don't know if you could get away with Dak in these days. No, it's actually pretty rogue. No. It's really rogue when you think about it. Well, yeah, it's it's assault, brother. It's yeah, harassment. it is. That's pure brother. harassment, brother. <laughs> it's. I mean, back in the day, the things we bloody get away with. Oh, mate, I'd oh, be dacking. Also, I'd be getting dacked. You know, last week when I told you about um, Twinkie, the guy who the principal loved. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It was actually his name was actually Pixie. Way worse. <laughs> little pixie Don't worry my little pixie You're not in trouble <laughs> Red light, green light 
Sam Bradley sent this in, so obviously this is something that Sam partakes in quite regularly. Waking up after a big night and smashing a leftover kebab. The greenest green I've ever seen. <laughs> but I'll have Uber Eats waiting outside from 2am and I'll eat it at 11am. No, you won't. Yeah, well. Are you fair dinkum? Swear to God. Fuck, I respect that. I always order meat on chips, like a halal pack. Do you? I get it fucking lathered in mayo and I'll just... And la, 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 la. But, so you'll deep throat a kebab from the night before, like say... Eight hours later. Green is green. 100%. Fuck. I, 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 you wouldn't do that. I, I'll eat leftover stuff if it's been refrigerated, but if I've ordered Uber Eats, which I've done a lot, which is why I have to delete all the fucking apps because I'd always just pass out, waste money. Mm. If it was there the next morning, I'm like, oh, well, that's over. Is, it, is that bad for me? It's like close to food poisoning territory. Oh, you, 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 you definitely tiptoe on the line. Out of steel. Fucking nice. I respect the hell out mm. of it. God, that makes me feel like a kebab. How good is a good kebab? Oh, take me to Indian Home Diner. Give me those buttery chicken fingers. Yeah. Your fingers are stained orange the next day. You wake up and your sheets are orange. Yeah. It looks like you've been fucking Trump. <laughs> Have you seen what's going viral at the moment? This article. 500 people cheer for Philadelphia man who ate a whole rotisserie chicken every day for 40 days. <laughs> the Brockman of chickens. That's what literally I <laughs> thought when I saw it. Like, is there anything that you could do that people would be like, this man, he's done it for 40 days. For 40 days. Like like my special talent or whatever. Mm. Um, we know what mine would be. Singing. Yeah, yeah, well, it's a, a very special talent, if you know what I mean. Or I could eat, like, five jars of gherkin a day for 40 days. You think you could eat five jars of gherkin a day for 40 well, days? Well, I think they're very acidic, and I think it would make me quite unwell, but I think I could do it. Really? I think I'd turn green. So you're essentially asking me what would be my Brockman? Yeah. What would be my Ned Brockman thing? I'll give you that tip. I couldn't run 100 kilometres. Not either. one day. No. Not, not, not ever. Day. Not ever. Not no. ever. I, I know I can never do that. No, I can I can hand on heart say I could never, ever run 100 k's. I could probably... Um, he had a full rotisserie chicken. What a fucking... What a thing to do and like be proud of. It doesn't seem like that much. Like, I reckon I could eat a whole chicken one sitting. Yes, same. Like, you know when you get those ones from the supermarket and you're like, I want a lazy dinner, let's just have a, a roast chicken, some, yeah. some buns, yeah, and some yeah, coleslaw. Yeah, 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 yeah. I would eat half of that. And if I'm feeling a little bit naughty and peckish, I could eat a full chick. Well, I mean, he's doing it every day. So it's like, all you got to do is have like a quarter of a chicken four times a day. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't so, know why people are cheering that much. Yeah. Then why is that even a fucking story? The it's gone, it's gone chicken. viral. You just ate chicken every day. It's gone absolutely viral. That's sort of like the same as me being like, hey, I drink a long black every morning. Let me <laughs> just do a live Lugal and see if I'm missing anything in the yard. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I feel like that's not that much of a feat. Right. We've got Brockman running fucking from one part of Australia to the other. Chicken. And you've got this cocksucker that just likes chicken. Man eats 40 chickens in 40 consecutive days, goes viral. <laughs> so that's all he did. Mate, I'm going to fucking do it for 50 days and go viral. I reckon I, I love cheesecake. I could just do it with a cheesecake. It seemed like the right thing to do when he took on the food challenge. You know what I really fucking hate? Food challenges. You know those food competitions with their disgusting cunts just shoving shit in there and then they're, sink, they're eating like hot dogs and then just pouring water so it mushes People up. People make a go, lot of money for that on YouTube. I, I can't watch the videos. I reckon I could do it with like... Cock. <laughs> <laughs> we got her. Ladies and gentlemen, we got her. Wrecked. <laughs> Um, no, with. Oh, you've lost my train of thought now. <laughs> I, I reckon I could, I could do a food eating contest with fries, and maybe burritos. Oh, uh, I ate burritos. Sausages. 
well, sausages. Not dissimilar to what I said before. <laughs> I, I ate burritos every night for three for three months once. Every night for three months. Every single liar. Woo woo woo. Lie police here. LDD Sergeant LDD here. Liar. Calling you out. Jack Edward Archdale. You can call me out all you want. Three months? A burrito every night? No, no, You're a pig. No joke. At least have the depth sometimes to tell two, the listeners sometimes, the truth. Sometimes two burritos. I, I could get confirmation on this. You're sick. Why? I fucking love burritos. Well, you see, you, you've got to have some type of different, different, different. Yeah, you mix up a burrito. But I didn't mix it up too much. But, you know, you sometimes have barbecue sauce, sometimes you have. Yuck, hate barbecue sauce. Oh, what the fuck is wrong with you? Barbecue sauce is disgusting. Are you serious? Yeah. What do you have on a bacon and egg fucking roll? I don't like yolk. Wouldn't order a bacon and egg roll. So not even with a hard fucking. Because like, then i got to eat around the little yellow fucker. You don't eat, like, eggs. If I go to a cafe, I'm ordering hard-boiled eggs and I'll eat the white bit and I'll leave the little yellow yolk balls. You're a freak. <laughs> You're I'm a- pretty sure that's well established. I didn't know that. Yeah. What? What? What is it? The, the, the texture, the consistency? The- no, I've told you I had a terrible experience. There was like a chicken in my yolk. So you'll still eat eggs, but just the fucking white bit. Yeah. And then the yellow texture now just makes me go... Really? really? Yeah. That's weird, man. Because I don't of, like paddle pop sticks, so. There's a lot of weird things about me and a lot of weird things about you. We're a couple of weird bedwetting cunts. You're dead right. Bedwetters for life, man. But yeah, so I've essentially done uh, that challenge, but for way longer. I did I did a burrito was and night, sometimes a, two for three months. Was it because you were like... I just love burritos. You were, for my, three my ex, months? My ex, Miss O, could, um, in fucking Darling Point, she could attest to this. It, it's, I don't believe you because there'd be a night a week that you'd go out. Nah, not really. Loser. Well, maybe. Well, maybe inside for three months. Actually, eating no. Burritos. Good, good point. But every Call every, him. every woo, single home woo, meal. So let's woo. say Monday. FBI agent LDD has <laughs> investigator Sherlock Holmes LDD here has unlocked the truth. I rest my case, Your Honor. <laughs> You're a fuckwit. You're just angry because they caught you. Called him no longer the burrito man for three months. Eat shit. Yes, yeah, so you're half right, but you're half not. Yeah, go I go squirt out to the your pub, barbecue sauce all over your burrito. Fucking pub. Yeah, pig. <laughs> you can't order a burrito at every pub, mate. Sometimes I just, I've been on a four day bender. I sit here, and when you just start screaming over me, I just want to fucking let rip. Can I ask you a question? Nah. When we were driving here and I had the music up. Oh, when you turned so lap up loud to and the I was fucking singing, um, wet ass pussy, get a bucket and a mop. Was there, a, I could feel a little bit of tension of you wanting me to shut the fuck up. Oh, you only felt a little bit. Do you know when you turn that up and I'm driving along, I just told you how fucked I was, how I've got three hours sleep last night, couldn't sleep. <laughs> you know what I thought to myself when you did that? <laughs> you have zero social awareness. <laughs> I was like, did this bitch just turn up, whap, full fucking ball at 7.30 in the morning as I've just told her I've got three hours sleep, come off a four-day banda. The worst part is is I knew that I was doing it and I knew that you were so annoyed but I just couldn't stop. I know you couldn't. The lyrics were just coming out of my mouth. I'm so sorry. It's fine. I just like. I didn't have much sleep either though. Which is odd that you'd choose to turn whap up full ball. Well, I thought I've got to get in the groove for the potty. And for some reason, whap was my song of choice. <laughs> it's because you're about to have a hot girl summer. Now, never ever fucking do that again. Sorry. <laughs> I love you, Lou, but don't ever do it again. <coughs> so what was the takeout here? What were we talking about? Oh, I don't like yolk. You're a liar. Those are the two takeouts. Yeah. What were we talking about before that? <laughs> the fucking bloke that oh, ate 40 chickens. The Ned Brockman of yeah, chickens. the Ned Brockman of chickens. How you going, you fucking champions? Yeah, I've got a red light, green light for you. Um, people who jump in your car for a five, ten minute drive and adjust your heater or air con. Fucking red all the way they can fuck off. That's got Dalden written all, all right. over it. Have a good one, lads. He just said, have a good one, lads. Awesome. <laughs> you know one of the boys. Thanks, mate. Have a good one, lads. What's up? What's up, guys? It's Lulu, the fucking one of the lads. 
Yeah. Hey, uh, it's a fucking red light. Don't fuck with my shit. You but know, that's got you written all over it. I can't, hopped into your car this morning. I took. Did you Did you notice I took your phone off the charger? Yeah, I did. Like, <laughs> you took my phone off the charger. And I started giggling to myself being like, I'm so fucked. <laughs> I am so <laughs> fucked. I just plugged mine in, like, hee hee, put on my music. As soon as you go to put on the music, I'm like, I can't believe she just got in my car. I've told her how fucked I am. And she's already saying, Can I put on the music? I said, If you put fucking Justin Bieber on, I'm wrapping this cunt around a telegraph pole. I, That's exactly what I said. I, I couldn't know. have dealt with Bieber. You know, Bieber would have been better than a WAP, though. Fuck me. I, I wanted to put Bieber on. I really felt like um, Justin Bieber, the Christmas song Under the Mistletoe. Yeah, well, thank fuck you didn't. Mm-mm. Maybe next time. Maybe not. Maybe on the way home. I'm never picking you up again. You now have to drive yourself to the podcast. Gianni does like a little road trip now. I'm Doesn't getting good. I'm getting good at parallel parking too. I'm like... Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, next... Um, We're on the hotline, by the way. I don't think I prefaced that at the start. Something happens to me in these chairs. Mm. Something comes over me. Yeah. I'm like the grudge. <laughs> Isn't it? That just sounds like you singing. <laughs> Wrecked. Hey, update on the singing lessons, bud. Why hasn't there been a fucking post? Why aren't you posting? Mate, I was in New Zealand and she was in New Zealand. I got one th- this week. When? Thursday. You'd want to fucking make a compilation video and post that bad boy. We need to see updates like you I promised will. the bedwetters. Well, I'll, I'll do an update at home if you want. No, I want the pro ones. You don't want me just doing one? No, nah, no, nah, it's better with her in there. Like, yeah, she's going giving good. You, like, yeah, giving you positive. She's so nice. Yeah, she, yeah, she yeah. is. Well, a liar, but really nice. <laughs> hey, Darcy, Lulu, it's Queensland Bandit here. Just got to say love on the podcast. And uh, that cameraman needs a, uh, needs a bit of a pay rise there. The way he gets Lulu's legs. <laughs> Tom, looks like you're getting a pay rise, brother. (laughs) That is amazing. Well, he's the Queensland bandit. He knew what he was doing. The Queensland bandit. I'll take that compliment. 100%. The way he gets Lulu's legs. What about my fucking pins? Yeah, you got good pins, mate. Oh, thanks. For a chicken. (laughs) Wrecked. I needed a compliment. You just took that straight away from me. That's fine. Next one. Hey, Chachi. Hey, Lou. Uh, just wanted to call in and just let uh, you know, firstly, Judge, not a personality trait to be from the country. Um, can't claim that for the rest of your life. Not a personality trait. Lou, also not a personality trait to be born in the East or live in the East. Uh, this I is some reckon. So, um, yeah, you don't have to mention it every single podcast. Anyway, love the potty. Talk to you. Bye. I love that. I love that he's just wrecked us both. An yeah. absolute double wrecking from one of the great bedwetters. He's tr- he's right, though. Yeah, he is dead I right. I would mention the East every podcast, and you would mention the farms. Which but, um, you know, I mean, that's just, that's just who we are. Well, not me. I'm from the bloody land of the long white cloud. That's correct. Not from the East. Not born and bred. You act like it, though. Do I? Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> Alright, one more Yeah, g'day bedwetters uh, Dirtbag here <laughs> Love the podcast Smash it all Like Lou smashing a fucking donut when she was 8 years old Anyway, just sitting here on the header And uh, love how you're making Lou try and guess all the farm and stuff Because she's got fuck all idea I uh, thought you'd throw uh, Josh throw a couple of um, You know, a bit of cropping gear, tractors, spray rig See what she knows about a fucking air seat or any of that gear. Anyway, guys, keep up the fucking good work. Love it. We need to do more. I love that. I love. I love his name's Dirtbag. Dirt, what we got? The, let's. We got to write these down. We got the Queensland Bandit. Dirtbag and Dirtbag. Dirtbag here. Hey, we'll do farm terms next week. Yes. Mashing Can I pot. just say? Um, it seems that that our audience is. Mainly males. Well, maybe the mainly the blokes calling in. Yeah, chicks call in. I want to hear from the girls. God, those are those are probably three of the great. Yeah, it was good. Three of the great hotlines. I love the hotline. Me too. It just brings me joy. I think we should perhaps do it not just at the end. Yeah, yeah. Like Start it off. They got they got good chat. The bedwetters. Good wreckings too. I love. We're, we're getting I wrecked. love a wrecking. Yeah. It's good character building. Fucking. It's the same as when like you get your heart broken. It's good character building. 
a good old heartbreaking. I vividly remember CJ. I, I'll name him because yep. you know, I, no shame here. Yep. My very first like proper heartbreak. I would have been like twenty one. Yeah, wanted to go travelling overseas. That you can still feel the pain. I can feel it in my wait, heart. Wait, but you you went travelling. He went travelling. Oh, so he broke up with me, and I was like twenty one. Devastated. Really. Absolutely devastated. Wouldn't change a thing though. Great character building. Hundred percent. Made me who I am today. So we've got to thank fucking CJ for this mess. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, CJ. Fuck uh, me, bud. She was yeah. probably like a real normal, normal chick pre you. He's just. What, what's his caper now? What does he do? He he lives in New Plymouth, and I think he's engaged. Yeah, he is right. engaged. Is he? I love that you said you think like you haven't kept fucking tabs on this motherfucker for the last Mate, 10 I years. Mate, I saw it on Facebook. Yeah. You're engaged. I saw it the fucking <laughs> moment it came out. Congrats, by the way. Yeah, you liked it. Probably commented. On your siege. Screenshot, send it to your girls' group chat. Oh, you know me too well. <laughs> you know me too bloody well. Yeah, thanks for... Hey, keep calling the hotline. It's on our fucking Instagram. Bloody, isn't it? Bio. Yep. At we love Ball. hearing from you guys. But yeah, checks, call in. Lulu needs a bit of support. This jumper Just is blokes. filthy. Yeah, like you, you filthy little grub. Excuse me. Rawr. Rawr. Um, I'm a Scorpio. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. 12 days till my birthday. Oh, you're one of those. Well, to be fair, usually I am, but this year it's like the last thing on my radar. Like, couldn't give a fuck. It's because you're upset that you're aging. Yeah. You're not fine. I hope that, like, a stranger or, like, someone who admires me sends me some flowers or something. So itch. Really? You're a weirdo. Why? It's someone who admires... It does who sound a bit creepy, doesn't yeah, well, yeah. it? I don't mean that. I no, mean, no, someone no, Someone that no. admires me. <laughs> Fuck me dead. Shut. Hey, hold Shut. on. Hey, Tobs, no. could you no. come over here and help me get Lou's head out of her fucking ass? It's going to take both of us. <laughs> Holy yeah, fuck. No, what I mean. Like, someone who, like, I don't know, DMs me or whatever. It is. <laughs> just keep yeah. digging. Just keep digging. Just keep okay. Digging. Mum, Dad, please just send me some flowers. Oh, like, Lou, someone. I'll get you some flowers, you sweet thing. Oh, what well, you? You'll pick them from the fucking garden around the corner. No, I, I, I'm going to get you something nice because you were so sweet and got me a really nice bottle of whiskey for my birthday, which I didn't expect. True. And it was a very kind gesture. Don't okay. worry, baby. There's something in the works. Okay, good. You know what I mean? Yeah, and Steph will give you some help as well. Oh, I'll need it. Yeah. Oh, don't rely on me for this okay. sort of shit. Tops, you want to send some flowers? <laughs> This is Anyone desperate. listening? This is getting... Bed wetters, we can send you the um, podcast address. <laughs> yeah, I'll sit. Yeah, well, Lou, hey, I think Lou... Hey, the Queensland bandit sounds like he'd be pretty keen to send me some flowers. Fucking oath. Mm. He'd send you more than flowers, I think. What would he send me? A semen in a jar. Oh. Sorry, I'm cutting that. God. That's fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I, I it's am. It's so great. That's no. where your brain went. I was more thinking nudes. Your brain went straight to his semen no, in a jar. I'm, I'm cutting that, but well, I'm beeping it. No, you're not. No, I am, guys. No, you're not. I am, Judge. If I listen to this fucking podcast it's and beeped. semen in the jar is beeped, <laughs> I will be fuming. I just want it to be beeped for, you no. know, in case it goes on. Today show. Carl, You're really, Carl Stefanovic. Yeah, I can, I can tell that there's some residual fucking um, <laughs> worry based on your recent spout of fucking or spate of time yeah. in the news. I looked kind of hot in the screenshot. Yeah, though. so whatever. Fuck. Fuck the cotton. Yeah. Um, righto. Yeah, we should get out of here. It's been a long potty. Yeah, uh, a lotty. Um, it's been a lotty. Hey, listen. At We Mean Well on TikTok and Instagram. Yep. Follow us. Personals at Jarchi and at Louisa Delden. Yeah. We love you guys so much. Bedwetting sons of bitches. Everyone listening, we bloody love you. We can't wait to do like a group thing soon. Yeah. Get everyone down and we just hit, you know, to I the think end, we do, I think we do one of them things where it's like we try and break the world record of we put a huge bed in a park and, and we've we all, all got to piss it. <laughs> <laughs> Largest Perfect. bed wet ever. Perfect. Done. So fitting. Right up. All right, bye, guys. Hooroo, hooroo.